Hello. Today we'll be taking a closer look at Live View, a feature you only find within Remote View Business. Live View allows you to monitor and manage any number of computers at the same time, all from the Remote View web console. Here you'll see multiple thumbnail images of all the registered computers within the selected group. These thumbnail images update every three seconds, so you're able to see a real-time feed of the remote computers on your account. You can use the slider found within the Live View toolbar to control the size of these thumbnails. You can also enlarge a live thumbnail image by clicking on it. Now in addition to being able to monitor your remote computers, there are several other features to help you manage these computers as well. Right click on a remote computer and you'll see a drop down menu with a variety of different options. We'll start at the top with View Larger. This is another way to enlarge a thumbnail image so you can get a better view of the remote computer's desktop. Next, we have Verify to Connect. This will manually refresh the selected computer status to check if it's able to be connected to. Below, you'll see Remote Control. This feature allows you to control the selected computer by working directly within the remote system. Before being able to access this computer, you'll be asked to enter the unique access ID and password that you assigned to this computer during the Remote View Agent installation process. Once the correct access credentials have been entered, the Remote Viewer will launch. Now you'll be able to work within the Remote Viewer to manage and resolve issues on the remote computer. If you've used Remote Call in the past, you can expect a very similar user experience with the Remote Viewer application. If you have yet to try Remote Call, you can check out the videos in our Remote Call section and get a better understanding of the user interface. While the Remote Viewer is open, you will have the option to close the remote connection by clicking Forcefully Terminate Remote Control. Next, we'll take a look at the Remote Explorer. Once again, you'll be asked to enter the computer's access credentials. Once you've successfully entered this information, you'll be able to use the Remote Explorer to browse and transfer files to and from the remote computer. When you're done, simply click the X to close the Remote Explorer. Next we have Control Tools, but we'll skip that for now and move on to Favorite and Properties. Favorite will add the selected computer to the Favorites folder, which can be accessed from the left-hand panel. Click the Favorites group, and you should see the recently added computer. Clicking Properties will open a separate window where you'll be able to edit the name of the selected computer and check various system information such as current operating system, IP address, MAC address, and more. Let's close this window and revisit the control tools. As you mouse over control tools, you'll see it contains a submenu of its own. Please note you'll need to enter the computer's access ID and password before being able to use most of the functions within the control tools menu. The first item on this menu is power controls. Here you'll be able to log off, shut down, and restart the remote computer directly from the web console. Next, we have System Information. This information is similar to the Properties option we just reviewed, but it provides some additional insight on the remote computer with detailed hardware and software information. Below is Remote Screen Capture. As the title accurately describes, this will take a screenshot of the remote desktop and open it in a separate window for better viewing. The screenshot will be in the same resolution as the remote computer, so you might need to adjust the image a bit to fit your screen. Next, we have Running Processes. This will execute the run command on the remote computer. To give you an example, we'll type CMD to launch the command prompt on the remote computer. Click OK, and in a few moments you should see the command prompt open up on the thumbnail image. We'll go ahead and enlarge the thumbnail so you can see the results more clearly. This is a simple way to open certain applications on the remote computer without having to directly access the machine. Process list will show all the current running processes on the remote computer, similar to what you might find in the Windows Task Manager. Once you've opened the process list, you'll have the option to refresh the list, end a specific task, and close the list once you've finished. Restart service will restart the remote view agent on the remote computer. While the remote view agent is restarting, you'll notice the selected computer will go offline. 
Once the agent starts up again, the thumbnail will update to reflect the change. In the case where the thumbnail does not update automatically, simply click Verify to Connect. Next is Update Agent. By clicking this, the Remote View agent will check for updates and apply them if there are newer versions available. If your Remote View agent is currently up to date, clicking Update Agent won't yield any additional results. Invite via email allows you to invite others to remote into the selected computer. Enter the email address of the person you wish to participate in the remote session, along with their name and an optional memo to send the invite. As an administrator, you'll be able to manually distribute these support sessions to others to manage your remote computers more efficiently with this feature. Once the participant opens the email and clicks Open Remote Connection page, they'll be brought to a new page where they'll be able to click Remote Access to launch the remote viewer on their local machine. The convenient aspect of this feature is this participant can be anyone you want and this invite isn't restricted to remote view users only. The last item on this list is iVPN. This will launch the Remote View iVPN connection client, which is used to connect to a virtual private network from the outside. Once you enter the access credentials, you'll be able to remote into computers on a VPN. Well, that covers Live View, Remote View Business's real time monitoring and management feature. If you're not currently a Remote View Business user, sign up for a free trial today and give our enterprise grade remote access solution a try for yourself. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos.